I'm here today to talk briefly about the conference that we will be holding uh, at Hofstra University entitled Domestic Violence, Dare to Speak Its Name. Uh, this is a one-day conference. And this is sponsored by the Department of Sociology's Criminology Program and the Herstory Writers Workshop. This conference brings together writers and experts who will address some of the legal, economic and social aspects of domestic violence. What are the barriers that uh, those who experience domestic violence encounter? What has been the public reaction? But an important part of it is also the narratives or the voices of those women who have experienced domestic violence. An important segment of this conference also is a panel that looks at how does the media address domestic violence? How do community-based organizations uh, address domestic violence? And what are ways in which together we as a public can make a difference in ending domestic violence? Domestic violence pervades societies worldwide. We know that the statistics are there, but they are, they are underreported. However, one in four women will experience domestic violence in her lifetime. Two out of five men in same-sex relationships will also be victims of domestic violence. Seven million children in will live in families that experience domestic violence. And according to the 2000 Global Review of, of the available data, we have 35% of women worldwide have experienced some form of physical or sexual intimate partner violence or non-partner sexual violence. The recent Ray Rice case uh, has once again raised the idea of how important it is for us to be discussing in public the issue of domestic violence. I mean, we've been, as feminist scholars, activists, community-based organizations have been addressing this since the 1970s uh, when it became uh, an important issue. But each time we have an, uh, a celebrity or, or we have one of these important cases, they do become a kind of watershed moment, right, for us to be discussing uh, what is not, uh, what is domestic violence, but what is the notions of corporate responsibility? What kind of accountability should we have from the institutions uh, in addressing domestic violence? Do they, for economic factors or for other reasons, uh, turn away and not address domestic violence? How, do the, how does the state look at domestic violence? What is the public's opinion when it comes to uh, uh, individuals who, uh, who perpetrate domestic violence? Domestic violence cannot be seen as an individual problem. It is a, f a problem that must be addressed because it has consequences on families, on communities and societies at large. It has actually huge economic uh, consequences too in terms of the cost for, uh, uh, for corporations too. And yet we don't see them uh, uh, often taking an important role in addressing domestic violence. Our conference and the kind of moment we have today uh, with the Ray Rice and other cases too is once again for us to really look at what policies we have in place and not just about addressing it post facto, but how do we address the prevention of domestic violence and that this cannot be just a women's issue, that it must be a, an issue that addressed by both men and women and by our communities, by our corporations and by the state. This conference uh, explores the community responses, the legal changes, and the importance of raising public consciousness. Uh, the conference also addresses the complexities of the intersections of race, class, gender, but also region in terms of the suburbs, the urban areas. This is a, a great moment uh, for our community and our students to come together uh, and really listen to an amazing set of panelists, especially uh, the panelists who to, uh, put their own lives and, and experiences uh, through the Herstory Writers Workshop to talk about the barriers they've encountered, but also ways of empowerment and agency and how solutions are possible in ending domestic violence.